What's going on guys? Jack Goose Tracker House Homestead. Um, we're here back for another video. Today's gonna be a little bit different. I'm not gonna really be doing any work per se. Um, just gonna let you know things that are coming on and going on with the channel coming up. Uh, so this shed right here behind me, um, it is about probably 12 years old. Uh, it's been to a couple different houses that I've had and throughout the years it's just been a shed. Um, I have plenty of storage now a um, couple of pole buildings and whatnot that provide me plenty of storage now and uh, this house here is is not um, the end goal we should say that being said um, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna try and start a series here on this channel uh, turning this shed into a small cabin what I would like to do eventually is buy 10, 15 acres somewhere, just some raw land, just the, about half of it in pasture, half of it in trees. And then from there we could build a house eventually. But we would move this shed out there if it's already complete. That way, right from the get-go, we'd have a place to stay on the weekends while we, we get the land and everything how we want it to do. So doing this is a long process. I understand that. Uh, it's a lot of work. Um, and if we ever do get to that point, it will all be documented on this channel. So stay tuned, um, like the video down below and, and that you guys can follow along as we go. Uh, we'd start off a little off grid, um, no power and everything obviously, because it would be raw land, but eventually we would have a well dug if there wasn't and then power brought to the property if there wasn't already. Um, long term isn't off grid. Um, however, I would like to be as sustainable as I could. So. Some of the stuff that we'll be doing, um, I'll, I'll show you the whole process. Um, right now it is just a shed, it's, it's full of stuff. So I will clean it all out. Um, I, the first thing I will do though, and it'll probably be the very next video, is paint the outside of it. So like I said, it is about 10, maybe 12 years old. Um, it's probably at least 12 years old. So it is an older place. Um, it is, it does need painted. I haven't. I haven't coated it with anything. I haven't put any water, water seal or anything on it in that time. So it's just the factory coating that's on it now. So I will start out with painting it um, with some exterior paint. I'll give you a quick little walk around of it and uh, show you on the inside. I believe it is a 10 foot by 14 or 16 foot. So there ain't, it ain't nothing fancy. It is just your basic, you know, shed. Uh, these doors here will be changed out. It'll be put a walkthrough door and probably a window up the top there. As it sits now to work on it, to do plumbing and all that stuff, I will pre-plumb it and everything beforehand so I will have to raise it up off the ground so but these doors here will be switched out I guess I didn't even have to take that off um, it is on the two barn doors right now and then it's just full right now it's got the kayaks in there um, and then just storage so uh, you see a lot of heating and cooling stuff. That's what I do that and weatherization. So there's, there's a lot of stuff in here. It's not packed full as it was. There's a nice mirror, um, but it is still full of items. It is down to the stud. I don't think that I will end up keeping that loft area um, because I am a little taller. Um, so with that being right there in the way, if I put any drywall or anything on the, the bottom side of that, then I will hit my head on it. So we will either turn that or cut that down um, or do something else with it. So as of right now, like I said, we haven't done any other work to it. It's just a raw shed. Actually, when I bought it, there was another platform right here. I'm going all the way across. There was only like a, a three or four foot section on the inside of it that wasn't floored. Uh, I'll put a an air conditioner or something through the wall or I'll figure something out. Maybe, maybe a mini split system, something like that. And 
And so that's it. That's the breakdown. I'm um, just a quick video today. Uh, I'd like you guys to uh, stay with me on this journey. Keep me, keep me motivated to get it finished out. So I'll motivate myself some, but it definitely helps when you guys like and comment down below. Okay, so subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you on the next video, probably where I'm painting the thing. So have a great day, and I'll see you on the next one.